I got to hitting all these high notes But I'm a low life in love and I'll break your heart If you push me too far, we'll be right back when we start I thought I'd do a what I eat in a day Because I haven't done one of these in ages and they're literally my favourite videos to watch on YouTube I sound like this because I've literally just woken up so I'm not going to sound like this for the whole video. <laughs> but first things first, as I do every morning, I made myself an iced coffee. Oh, I made it a bit too sweet. <laughs> but every morning I make an iced coffee, I just put an espresso shot in it, some honey in the espresso shot so it like melts and isn't like hard, and then some oat milk with some ice. It's just my favourite drink ever. But today I'm just chilling at home the whole day, so I thought, well, why not do what I eat in the day? Like, they're literally my favourite videos. So I'm going to do breakfast, lunch and dinner. This is my breakfast so far. I don't usually tend to have breakfast. I usually just have a coffee and go to lunch at, like, 12, because it's already 10. I hate to say it. <laughs> I've woken up a bit late. Yeah, I just have a coffee. But if I get hungry, I'll make something. Maybe like some fruit or something. We'll see. But stick around for the rest of the video. And I'm going to see if I can teach you guys any new recipes today. Because I literally love cooking. Like, it's one of my It's like one of my hobbies. Like, I love it. And I'm, I'm alright. I would say I'm quite good. Yeah, I would say that. My friends would say that I'm quite good. And my mum always, like, boasts about how good I am at cooking. So, let's get into the rest of the video, and please remember to like and subscribe, as always. So, I've had my coffee, and I'm a bit hungry again. Not hungry, but like, I just want something else. So, I'm going to make this green smoothie mix from M&S, and let's just put it in the Nutribullet and add some apple juice to it. It makes like a green juice kind of thing. It's got cucumber, pineapple, kale and spinach and lime. But yeah, I'm going to have this. It's like 12 o'clock now, so I'm going to have this, then make some lunch. Probably in like half an hour or an hour. I should put apple juice in it. And then I'm going to go blend it in the other room. I've blended it now. It's really thick. It's like... Sorbet. I can't even open it because it's frozen. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> this smells interesting. Appetizing, does it? I don't know how nice these are gonna be, but there's the green smoothies. It's quite nice. Hmm, green juice. So it's like lunchtime now. And I'm hungry because I haven't had any breakfast, so I'm just gonna make a quick Greek salad. And maybe have like some hummus and pit of red on the side. Greek salad's so easy, it's literally just red onions and tomatoes and a cucumber and some feta. But I'll show you because my Greek salad's always the best. I'm just cutting my red onion quickly. Might cut it a bit smaller. Tomato. I've literally just laid it all out, so I'm just going to put it in here. That's what it looks like so far. So it's just tomato and some cucumber in the bowl. And then I'm going to put some feta in it. This is just the feta I have. I love feta, so I'm going to put a few of them in. Okay. Feta. Let's see if I have any olives, because I really like to put olives in it usually. 
Right, there was no olive sprouts. I'm just gonna carry on. So I get some oregano. Literally just like the tiniest bit. Some extra virgin olive oil. Salt. Pepper. And I always put a bit of aromat in it. This is aromat. I literally put it in everything. Some lemon juice. I'm just gonna use half the lemon. And that's the Greek salad. I'm just gonna give it a mix now. And then it should be ready to eat. Oh, I'm also gonna have some hummus on the side. I'm gonna show you how to jazz up your hummus. Just makes it a little bit nicer if it's short bought. So you get your like store bought hummus. This one, this is quite a nice one to be fair. It's the extra virgin olive oil one. So it's just like a dollop of oil. And then you get some extra virgin olive oil. It should be the tiniest bit. Some salt. And you just get some paprika. And just put it over your hummus. So it's like that. And then there's your hummus and bit of bread, but just made a little bit nicer. So this is my lunch then, Greek salad and some hummus and pear. This is good. It's dinner time now. So, because it's so cold and windy outside, I've decided that I'm going to make a spaghetti bolognese. Basically spaghetti bolognese, but this is the real Italian recipe, so I hope everyone's taking notes and they'll know how to make this in the future. <laughs> so what I'm using is some carrots, celery, minced meat, a shallot, 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 <laughs> shallot, some red wine, and some thyme and rosemary. I'm gonna grate my carrots and celery because it's quicker and then you don't get like lumps of vegetables in your mouth whilst you're eating. Whenever I grate, I'm always scared that I'm gonna grate my finger off. Guys, let me know if you want me to do a cooking video with mum where we make some Italian food. We can make like lasagna, padmigiana, all the good recipes. I feel like I'm doing a cooking show. Now I'm going to do the same and grate the onion as well. Now that I've grated all the onion, carrot and celery, I'm going to get a pot. I put extra virgin olive oil in it. I feel like that's literally like the most important bit because some people use normal olive oil or other oils, but this one makes the pasta taste the nicest. Right, so you literally get your vegetables and you put them in a the pot and you just let them sweat for a bit. <laughs> Mum's on the sous chef watch. <laughs> I know how to cook. She's like passing me the ingredients I need. Now that the vegetables have softened a little bit, I'm going to add in the garlic. I'm adding in two cloves of garlic, by the way. I was having this conversation with my friend the other day. We were discussing if you're the type of cook that like preps everything before, like chops everything up, that like, has everything ready to go, or you the type of like cook that like just picks things up as they go. And I literally think I'm a bit of both because I've already forgot like half the ingredients when I told you guys in the beginning. Like, I forgot to say garlic and also beef stock, which we're gonna add in. So yeah, I feel like. I'm just a, a really messy cook. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with being a messy cook. It shows you that you're passionate, okay? Right, now I'm gonna add in my mint. And now I'm just gonna add in my seasoning. So I literally add salt, pepper. And you can always add more after if you want to. Like when it's cooked a bit, just taste it. And I'm adding some aromat. So I've just added some rosemary and I'm just going to add ooh, some thyme but I take the leaves off the branch because 
No one wants to get a massive leaf, I mean a massive branch on their nail. Okay. My mince is now brown. And look, if you can see, all here is just a mess. This is a beef stock cube. It just makes like, the sauce a lot richer. Then I'm gonna add, oh, I don't even know how you open this. Half a cup of red wine. It has to be on kind of like a high heat because you want the alcohol to burn off a bit. The thing with like uh, ragu or bolognese sauce is that you need to let it cook for a really long time to like make it taste nice. And the longer that you cook it, the nicer that it tastes. So usually I let it cook for like at least like 45 minutes, an hour. Now you're gonna wanna add in your tin of tomatoes. I use these ones, genuinely, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, These are the best tomatoes. Like if you can get them, just get them. I'm gonna turn it down and just put a cover on it. I'm gonna put some water on now for the pasta because it's been like half an hour or so. Always remember to salt your water. I'm gonna add in some spaghetti because that's the pasta I want today. So there we go. I you should have a conversation with it. Or should we bring one over and maybe talk to them together? So there is the spaghetti bolognese. Done. Mum, do you want to come do a taste test with me? Mum will tell you the truth if it's nice or not. Mmm. I think it's good. Yeah. Swivel <laughs> to the corner and turn mouth size. Mm. That's good pasta. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably all I'm gonna eat for this evening. So make yourself some spaghetti bolognese tomorrow using this recipe. <laughs> I feel like my content's gonna get much more like cooking, like homely stuff as it gets into winter as well. So that should be fun. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for me to do because I love to hear like some feedback and stuff. And just thank you for watching like, my videos, guys. They actually mean so much to me. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't because it really helps me out and it means so much to me. I'll see you guys in the next video.